Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. My name is Farida Seth and today we are gonna discuss about number system. So let's begin. So first we will talk about natural numbers. What are natural numbers? All the counting numbers are all natural numbers. Numbers are represented by n. So Natural number begin from 1 and it's uh, uh, we can uh, present it by n so we can say n and bracket 1, 2, 3, so on. Is the set of natural numbers. Set of natural numbers. Okay. And uh, remember that the natural number is starts from 1. Now, whole numbers. All the counting numbers together with 0 are whole numbers. So, whole numbers are starting from 0 and we represent it as W. 0, 1, 2 and so on. It, it is a set of whole numbers. Okay, now let's look at integer. All natural numbers 0 and the negatives. All counting numbers from the set of integer. From the set of integer, the set of these numbers are denoted by z or i. We can say z can denote by z or by i. So we can say that z is equal to uh, from uh, from minus to like positive and so on. It will continue. Okay. Now um, let's see one example. Find the successor of the number minus ten. If we have to find the successor, we uh, plus one in that number. So Six of minus 10 will be minus 10 plus 1. Minus 10 plus 1 is, it means minus 1 minus 10 minus 9. So, it is the successor. And in the predecessor, we minus 1. So, to find the predecessor of minus 7, we will do minus 7 minus 1, which will be minus 8. So, simple. I hope you understand this much. Now. Fraction. A fraction is a number is a number a upon b where a and b are integers and b is not equal to zero and a is not divisible by b. A is not divisible, not divisible by b so if if these uh, properties apply here that means we can call this as a fraction okay now rational number what are rational numbers let's see a number in the form p over q where q is not equal to zero and p and q are integers. p and q are integers. Are integers. And p and q are in their lowest term. What do I mean by lowest term? It means that if it's written uh, 4 over 8, we can cancel these by 4. So in the lowest term, it will be 1 over 2. I mean this. P and Q have no factor other than 1. In this, the P and Q should not have uh, a common factor other than 1. Okay? So, if, if all these properties apply, we can call this as a rational number. Okay? Now, let's see one example. Uh, find two rational numbers between 3 over 4. And 2 over 7. Let's see. 
relational f to this we have a formula the formula is 1 over 2 x plus y so here we can see 1 over 2 x is this and y is this so 3 over 4 plus 2 over 7 let's plus them 1 over 2 with the common denominator will be the common denominator will be uh, 28 4 is 7 so 21 plus uh, 8 1 over 2 multiplied by 29 over 28 which will be 29 over 56 when we will multiply this by this so this number lies between uh, this and this similarly the rational number obtained now this is the one rational number we found now we should find another so another we will use the same formula but here we will write 2 over 4 plus this number here 29 over 56 so when we will do this we will get 71 over 112 so we obtain two rational number this and this just remember the formula we should use is this okay uh, i hope you understand this one now let's see this express 12.05 Express 12.05 as a rational number where 0 0.05 has a bar over it. What do the, what does this mean? It means this 12.05 and this. How we will express it as a rational number? The whole number obtained by writing digits in order is 1, 2, 0, 5. Okay? So, and the whole number by a non-recurring decimal, the order is 12. So, here we can write it as x is 12.0505 because uh, this is repeating. So, now uh, we can write 10x which will be if we will multiply from 20.505. As we can see this. And this are not equal. So now we should make them equal. So 1205.050. Now clearly here we can see this and this are equal. Now we will subtract them. 100 minus uh, 100x minus x 99x and 120. This will become zero. So, 1205 minus 1293 will be 1193. 120, sorry, 1205 minus uh, 12 will be 1193. Now, we can say that x is 1193 over 99. So, this will become uh, our rational number. Okay. Now. Let's see another uh, question. Express 0 0.225 as a rational number and uh, here 0 0.225. This 25 has a bar on it. Here I wrote this 25 has a bar on it. So we can say that x is 0 0.225. 2, 5, 2, 5, because this will keep repeating. So now 10x will be 2.25, 2, 5, 2, 5, and so on. So here I told you we should make it same. 100 will be 22.525. Here we can see none of it is same. So 1000x will do 225. Uh, 2, 5, 2, 5, 2. Here also, uh, now we can see this and this are same. Like here is 2, 5, 2 and yeah. So here it's same. 
when we will minus them we will get uh, we will get 1000 minus 990x and when we will minus this and this 225 minus 2 we will get 223 so x will be 223 over 990 so this becomes our answer this is so easy just you have to remember the number let's talk about irrational number Any number which is in the form of non permitting and non, non recurring decimal, it is called an irrational number. For example, root 2. This is 1.4141. It's like it is not repeating. Like uh, repeating, you say, like if it was over, like it's the same is coming, but here, like the same number is not coming. There are different numbers and pi. As you know, 3.14152. Here also, there are different numbers. So, these both are not rational, we can say. Okay. Now, properties of even and odd numbers. The first property is the sum, uh, sum of odd number of odd numbers, odd. Like, we can say odd number plus odd number it will also be odd this is the first property no uh, sorry the sum of a odd number to odd number is even like let's take in another example 5 plus 7 it's also 12 and now the sum of two even numbers is even so 6 plus 2 is uh, 8 it's even 10 plus 12, it's 22, it's even. The third property is the product of an even and odd number is even. Even number multiplied by an odd number is even. Uh, even number we can say 6 multiplied by 3 is 18. That means it's even. Mm. The sum of an even, uh, even number plus an odd number is odd. We can say, we can take an example like even number 4, odd number 5. So the uh, uh, result is an odd number. The result is an odd number. Now, let's look at prime numbers. The prime numbers are the natural numbers which have exactly two factors. And uh, exactly two factors, that means one and the number itself. That means let's uh, two, like two is a prime number. It has a factor one and the number itself and five also. And 13. Okay. So now. Composite number. The natural number which have more than two factors are composite number. For example, 4. 4 it has 1 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. It has more than two factors. So it is called a composite number. Now, here is an example. Verify 223 is a prime number or not. Uh, we can say let n is 223. And now, root 223 is like approximately close to 15 because 15 is 225. So, we have m uh, 14. And the prime numbers below M. The prime numbers below M are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13. Because we took 14, so below uh, 14 the prime numbers are the 
223 is not divisible by any of the prime numbers. So now, here uh, we saw that uh, it is not divisible. 223 is not divisible by any of the uh, factors. So, so it means that 223 is a prime number. But if it was divisible, is a if it was divisible, that means it was it wouldn't be a prime number. Okay, now twin prime prime numbers differing by two are called twin primes. For example, five and seven are twin primes. Three and five are twin primes. Can you give another example? Yes, Third, eleven. And 13 are twin primes, okay? So now, prime tip triplet. It says it has set up three consecutive prime number. That means 3, 5, 7 or 2, 3, 5. Uh, okay, now let's look at, uh, let's look at co-primes. Co-primes, every pair of, um, Every pair of two natural numbers having no common factor other than one is co-prime. For example, let's consider consider the numbers 16 and 15. Okay, 16 and 15. Uh, factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. And the factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. The only common factor in 16 and 15 is 1. So, we can say that they are relative primes, relative primes or co-primes. Okay? Now, let's look at another example. Find the unit digit of 8 to the power uh, 25. So, uh, the unit digit of 8. So, here 8 to the power 25, we can write as 2 to the power 25 multiplied by 4 to the power 25, or we can say 2. Uh, cube to the power 25 that means 2 to the power 75 uh, if it's uh, if it's uh, 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 even number for suppose it's 3 the unit digit is 8 so it's an even number that means the unit digit will be 8 okay so here what I just did that first 8 is 2 multiplied by 4 and 4 is 2 to the 2 square and 8 is 2 cube and we will multiply this 25. This we can write as n as we all know that 8 2 to the power cube is 8. That means the unit is 8 if it's even. Oh, sorry, if the power is odd. The unit digit is 8. So here also 75 is odd. So the unit digit is 8. Okay. Now. Test of divisibility. First let's see the test. Oh, sorry. First. Let's see the test of divisibility by 2. It's divisible by 2. If, it, if the digit number ends in 0. 2. 4, 6, 8, okay? And 3 if it's the sum of digits. Sum of digits is uh, divisible by 3. That means it is divisible by 3. By 4, if the last two digit number, suppose uh, 324, okay? If this last two digit number is divisible by 4, that means this number is divisible by 4. By 5, if at last it's 0 or 5, okay? By 6, if it's divisible by 2 and 3, if divisible 
by 2 and 3. Okay. By 8. If the last 3 digits. So here it was the last 2 digits. Now in 8 is last 3 digits. Last 3 digits. Okay. For 9. Uh, it's same as 3 sum. And for 10, if at last it's 0. For 11, it's a little bit uh, tricky. Like if the number is, let's say, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So here, uh, it, uh, if the sum of this, and this sum of this is a uh, two and this is four and if we subtract this it's two the subtraction let's see this uh this and this this means four and four and if i subtract it it's zero if by subtraction you get zero that means it is divisible by 11 okay now let's see hcf the highest common factor or we can also call it greatest common divisor it is a factor of uh, HCF is the highest common factor of two or more natural numbers. It's the largest factor in the set of common factors of those numbers. In other words, uh, we can say that HCF or GCD of two or more numbers is the largest number which divides them exactly. For example, let's take 72 and 60. First, let's do prime factorization. 72 is 2, 36, 2, 18, 2, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. And 60 is 32, 15, 5, 3, 3, 1. Now, here 72 is 2 cubed multiplied by 3 square. And 60 is 2 square multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5. So here we can see that the what is common. Here 2 square is common. 2 square is common. Uh, sorry. 2 square is common and 3 is common. So we can say the highest uh, common factor is 12. Okay. Now. Let's see LCM, the least common multiple. The least common multiple of two or more numbers is the least of their common multiple. For example, let's find the LCM of 24 and 36. Remember, in HCM we wrote both sep we wrote both separately, but here we will write both together. Okay, two, twelve. And it will go by 18, then 2, 6, 9, then 2, 3. Here it cannot be divisible by 9, so we will write 9, then 3, 1, 3, again 3. Now you will multiply all these numbers. So the LCM is 2 cube into 3 square, which is? Uh, 2 cube is 8 multiplied by 9, which is 72. Okay? So, now, the relationship between LCM and HCF, okay? The product of, uh, product of two, <coughs> two numbers is out there. LCM multiplied by their HCF. Uh, and the LCM. The LCM and HCF. Now let's see the LCM and HCF of fractions. Okay. So, the LCM of fraction is the LCM of numerator over HCF of denominator. And HCF of fraction is HCF of numerator over LCM of 
denominator okay so uh, i hope you understand this uh, so uh, so what we covered today what we learned today let, uh, let's memorize we learned uh, we learned natural numbers natural numbers natural numbers whole numbers integers integers fractions uh, rational and irrational numbers and we learn hcf lcm and the divisibility test divisibility test and we learned the relationships between lcm and hcf and we learned the uh, prime numbers uh, co primes twin uh, twin primes and prime triplets so i hope you understand this and thank you for watching my video if you like please like comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you bye bye